right, so let's go over six tips for using the burette properly. Number one, rinse the burette with the solution that you're going to be putting in the burette and using in the burette. So if you're doing a titration with sodium hydroxide, rinse that burette with a few times with small amounts of sodium hydroxide. You can put a little bit in the, in the burette itself, pour that into a waste container, uh, and then do that a couple more times. Number two, make sure there are no bubbles in the tip of your burette. Okay, so here's my burette right now. If this were my actual solution, there would be a huge bubble in there. So, a couple of ways to make sure you get rid of bubbles. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue solution to my burette. First thing you can do is open the stopcock all the way. That might get the bubbles out. If you look closely, put it up against my coat there, you can see that there is still a bubble in that tip. So another way to get that bubble out is to open the stopcock, give it a shake, and now you can see that that bubble is gone. Tip three, make sure you're reading two digits after the decimal place on the burette. Now, the burette has large, uh, has milliliter markings, large, long lines for those, and every 0.1 milliliters is also marked with a line. Now think about this, you have to get one more digit past the decimal, one more digit in addition to that point whatever, to be 0.12 for instance. Each line uh, that demarks the point, 0.1 milliliter, that has a thickness of about 0 0.02 milliliters. So you can use that as an estimate for figuring out that last decimal place in your burette reading. Tip number four, make sure you're reading the burette at eye level. That may mean you need to use a stool or you may need to hunch, scrunch down a little bit in order to get your eyes at eye level. You can also raise and lower the burette in the burette stand if that helps as well. Tip number five, make sure you're reading the bottom of the meniscus of the, of the solution. And use a burette reading card to help you get a really good sense of where that meniscus bottom is. And finally, tip number six. You can add a half drop of the solution in the burette to, for instance, a titration mixture by getting a little bit of a drop at the tip of the burette and using water to uh, get that into your uh, titration. So those are six tips for improving your rear rat skills.